It was a warmer day today and more humid. Different from this past weekend, we were warm, but the humidity was much lower. And today's high 80 degrees, the first time we've been in the 80s this year. And you have to go back to December 9th, and we had kind of a really record high day of 83 degrees. But it's been fairly comfortable for the day today. But the difference today compared to the weekend was it was definitely more humid. I wouldn't call it muggy, which kind of leads to being an uncomfortable type uh, for, uh, word, but a definite more humid day today with those south winds bringing back the Gulf moisture, which had been much lower Saturday and Sunday. At the moment, beautiful though, out toward downtown. We've had some passing clouds at times, likely to see more cloudiness overnight tonight. 75 degrees, our current rating dew points way up, 50s and low 60s now, and winds out of the south at 14 miles an hour. So our morning lows today were in the 40s and lower 50s. Not going to be that cool overnight. In the 70s on both sides of the lake right now, and likely going to see similar temperatures again tomorrow, upper 70s, low 80s as dew points will continue to climb. So that just brings in that warm air and the forecast of dew points not going to continue to rise, but will likely stay in the lower 60s until midday Wednesday as a cold front will move through, bringing in a very brief reprieve from the warmer and more humid air. Still very breezy with winds gusting up over 20 miles an hour. They will subside a bit later in the night, but still a bit of a breeze and then picking up again during the day tomorrow. In fact, as we're getting the day started, we'll likely all already have winds gusting up to 20 miles an hour, and then we could see winds peaking at about 30 miles an hour for a gust during the day tomorrow. So four headlines looking ahead, warm and more humid through early Wednesday. Then that front moves through temperatures will drop for the second half of the day Wednesday, and we stay cool for Thursday. Then by Friday, the highs are right back into the 70s. And as we approach the end of the week and toward the weekend, we are going to see a cloudy wetter pattern, which will continue into early next week. We'll talk more about that in a second. First, the increase in cloud cover later on tonight. Already starting to see some of that cloudiness move in from Texas. Also over Texas, we have an upper ridge where temperatures have been warming quite a bit. In fact, Dallas got into the 90s during the day today. Now, like we saw last week with kind of a building ridge heading our way, it's going to weaken. So this upper ridging is really not going to send us into the mid 80s. Again, probably some maybe 80, 81, 82 degrees possible as we head into the day tomorrow. Early Wednesday, we'll just see how warm our temperatures are able to get before we get a surge of some cooler air to make its way into the Gulf South. But it's not going to last for very long. Almost immediately, that colder air starts to retreat, and we will start to see this southwesterly flow aloft. That is the pattern that keeps the clouds and rainfall around, and that is going to be the pattern which basically takes us through most of this week, the weekend and early next week with several rounds of rainfall likely. We'll talk about some of those rounds of rainfall, trying to get a better idea of when we could see the rain. Front moves in early or midday Wednesday. Doesn't look like we're going to see much rain with this front at all. Probably a 20% chance at the very most. Staying under mostly cloudy skies, but dry for Thursday. Then we start to see that southwesterly flow and a little disturbance kind of develop or embedded within it out to our west, which then starts to send some rainfall our way. Friday is looking to be a little bit wetter. Saturday may be scattered showers, but not quite as much rain coverage, and then probably a better chance of rain on into Sunday. So those rain chances will be coming up as we approach Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Maybe not as much on Saturday, but the details of our rain chances is still being finely tuned. As far as the rainfall totals, over the course of several days, this is going into early on Monday, one and a half to two inches of rainfall spread out over the entirety of a long weekend. We can more than handle, but a few downpours are certainly possible as of right now. Really no flooding risk to contend with 80 degrees are high tomorrow. High temperatures will be early Wednesday before they start dropping behind the front, then cool for Thursday immediately back into the 70s Friday with those rain chances picking up through the weekend and early next week. The